Hey everyone, this is Malik with Evolve and just going to be running through some of the updates and some of the new kind of tools and features that we have with our 8.2 update. So to kind of jump in, uh, if you look over here in the quick tools within the ribbon, we'll have some new quick tools that you can see here. So just kind of point out some of them that we have. We have our uh, extend and align, our move straight along run, and then move straight to end of the run and uh, align run in intersection. So we'll kind of run through some of these tools and, and what they mean. Uh, with these tools, they kind of came over from the mechanical product, but we figured that there's still some use case for them even on the electrical side. Uh, so uh, you'll see them within the quick tools ribbon as well. So uh, with the extend and align, um, a good use case for this is kind of this example that I have set up here where you kind of have uh, some different pieces of conduit and they're not aligned at the end. You can then use this to where you can select the tool, select the end of one of your runs, and then you can select the other conduit uh, that you want to align to that and click finish. And then it will extend and align all of them. There's also the option to move and align as well. So instead of just extending, you can actually have the conduit move if you wanted to do so there. All right. And then with the uh, move uh, straight along run or move to the end of the run, this is just going to be more so. So like in this example, we have some uh, couplings thrown on this run of conduit here. Um, so kind of at the end, we have this uh, small uh, straight segment here. So really, uh, that's kind of a use case for this where you can uh, kind of move this to the end of the run. So say this small segment was like in the middle, you can then quickly have that thrown to either end, just kind of for more so the, the visual aesthetic of it, if you will. So uh, just to show an example of that, you can click move straight to the end of the run. You can select the straight that you want to move and then which direction you're going, and then it'll drop it down here to the end of the run. And uh, uh, you can kind of do that again. If you wanted to move it back, you can select it. And then again, you can come back up here and click which direction you're going and then it'll drop it up here. But then we also have the option to move along the run as well. So instead of it just automatically going to the end, you can then come here and select uh, move straight along the run. So then you can select that straight segment again, kind of click down here. So not dropped it in the middle. And then we can click again to drop it at the end. And again, you can kind of uh, go back and forth with that as well. So if I wanted to start moving it back up, I can then move it up here and uh, kind of go that direction there. So uh, yeah, just some uh, some of the new quick tools that we have here. So I'm going to dive into one of the other ones that we have, which is going to be the uh, uh, align and run intersection. So with that, this is great for if your conduit is kind of floating at different elevation. So if we take a look at this one here, kind of move that around, uh, we can then see that the elevation uh, is different for these two. So then that's a great use case for this tool where you can come in and select the run intersection and then select our stationary run, and then which one we want to align. And then now if we can uh, take a look here and then drops it to the same elevation. So then now we can quickly do like a, a trim or just kind of connect those uh, two ends there. Uh, so it just makes it a very easy process for being able to kind of clean up your uh, conduit uh, as it's kind of placed within your model there. So those are just some of the uh, new quick tools that we have there. And then over here in the utilities, we also have this new uh, toolbox uh, button. So with the toolbox button, it essentially allows you to kind of create a, a you know, quote unquote toolbox or a group of buttons that you can ha have, you know, kind of set up within there. So we actually see the toolbox over here on the left. So I just have uh, some brief examples set up here, but we can talk kind of talk about the setup process for that and then kind of what you can do with it. So we can click on the settings here. So in this my tools uh, kind of toolbox, if you will, um, uh, over here, this is where you kind of set up. So you can set the rank if you want, uh, but it's not necessary. But then you can choose the tab location or kind of where that button is going to come from. And that can be from any tab. So it doesn't just necessarily have to be uh, an evolved button. So even if it's a native Revit button. So for example, you can pull something from the architecture or structure tab, um, or even if it's from another kind of program or software, basically if it's in Revit, uh, you can kind of pull it into the toolbox. So I'll just use an evolve button here as an example. So I'll do evolve electrical. And you can kind of choose which panel the button is going to come from. So let me look for prefabrication. And then we can choose what button we actually want to uh, have there. So then I'll do like define spool. And you can also give it uh, a custom name if you wanted. And then I'll go ahead and duplicate this here. Um, uh, and then kind of with the option for duplicating there would be just if you wanted to kind of create another button from like the same location. So if I wanted to do uh, like delete spool with that as well, and I could uh, just kind of duplicate that there and then just change it to delete spool just to quickly add that in. So then now if I go ahead and hit apply and okay, now under my tools, uh, you can see the define and delete spool. So just kind of a nice option where if there's some uh, buttons or features that you're using a lot, you can just kind of throw them into your toolbox. So then you can just have your toolbox open and quickly access those without having to go to the Evolve Electrical Ribbon or navigate through the panel here. 
Um, so again, you can really kind of organize this however you want, and it doesn't necessarily just have to be evolved tools with that as well. All right, and then kind of talking about the ribbon as well, um, we now give you the option to actually customize the Evolve electrical ribbon. So you can actually show or hide some of these different panels that you see here. Uh, I can't show you live because you do have to restart Revit once you kind of make the changes there. But I'll go ahead and open up these settings. Oops, wrong button here. We go back. And then we can customize ribbon settings. So for example, I actually created a custom ribbon for that as well. So we'll kind of talk about that here in a second. But then for example, if I uh, go into the Evolve electrical ribbon or kind of like the default uh, ribbon that you'll see within Evolve, I can then uh, kind of turn off the visibility for some of the panels. So if there's some, uh, let's say you're a new user or you're a user that only uses particular tools, you don't really care about the rest of the ribbon, you can then actually kind of turn off the visibility for all those buttons. So then you'll only see the tools that are kind of relevant to you. Um, so just to kind of show that, I have this uh, hanger tools um, uh, ribbon that I created over here. So I kind of jump out of here. This is the custom ribbon that I created. So then within this ribbon, we'll only see the tools related to supports. Um, so then kind of all of our hanger tools or duck bank spacer tools. Um, so again, maybe if you're a very uh, kind of specified user where, hey, I only do supports, that's the only thing that I really care about for Evolve, then you can kind of create a custom ribbon for that. So you don't have to kind of parse through all the different tools that we have, or you can even customize the kind of uh, default Evolve electrical ribbon there as well. All right. And then we also have some enhancements to the uh, conduit run schedule. So with the conduit run schedule, just kind of going to get it loaded up here and we kind of take a look. But over in the options, we, we now have a new kind of uh, air condition uh, within the air condition highlighting, which is actually going to be the bend angle. So you can kind of set a max bend angle. So uh, if I have that kind of enabled, I can then define that for my different systems. Um, so then I can say that, hey, you know, I don't you know, want any of my, uh, you know, conduit runs to exceed 360 degree of bend, so then I can kind of set that for the different systems. So then as they exceed, it'll then kind of turn the color of them here based on the color that you have selected. So just kind of like a nice QA or QC tool. So whatever your kind of max threshold is for that max bend angle, you can kind of define that. And then uh, you can kind of set up the coloring rules uh, for when you want the uh, color to be changed there. Um, so definitely a nice addition. But then as far as the uh, run schedule itself, we also now uh, give you the option to actually add in uh, kind of custom parameters to the uh, conduit run schedule. So you can kind of add your own columns of information here. So we can uh, look at an example of that. So I'll close that there. And then I'll jump over to uh, this tab. And then we'll add in a project parameter. I'm going to go ahead and add one here. Uh, our customers probably probably be doing a shared parameter, but I'm just going to do project parameter here. And then a good example would be uh, like my conduit color, and then we want this to be text. And then over here, we can select uh, what kind of elements going to apply to. So we want this to apply to our conduit fittings, conduit and conduit run. So now we can go ahead and click okay here. So we've added in that uh, kind of parameter. So then now if we jump back over to the Evolve Electrical Ribbon and then go over to our settings here, and go over to the conduit run schedule settings if I can find them. Let's see, where are they? All right, so then I can come over to the parameter settings here. And then I can go ahead and uh, add in a new parameter. So I'm going to look for my conduit run angle, the one I just created, my con or excuse me, my conduit color. And then I want this to apply to the conduit run schedule. So I'll go ahead and apply that. And we can get out of here and then jump back over to the uh, conduit run schedule. And then I'll go ahead and uh, right click on this. And then I want to uh, add this guy in. So you can either drag it in or just double click it and then we'll add the column in there. So I'll go ahead and close this. So then now you have this new parameter added in, um, but you can really do this with kind of any parameter and add the information in. And then that will still be there. So even if I uh, export out to Excel, I'll then see that column. Uh, and then I can fill that out with an Excel and then import back in, just like you can do with all the other columns. Um, so definitely a nice kind of uh, tool and feature there so that we're just giving you kind of more access and uh, more options to kind of adding in uh, some different uh, sets of information into the conduit run schedule here. All right, so those are just uh, some of the uh, kind of uh, new tools and features and enhancements that we added in within the 8.2 update. There's a lot of kind of uh, quality of life and uh, UI uh, updates as well and some bug fixes, um, but just wanted to kind of uh, highlight and, and touch on some of the uh, new tools and features here 
Um, but thank you guys for listening. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to our team.